Okay, that's why she's British. Oh, Hungary. She's not Hungarian? I'm live tweeting this dumbass conversation. <laughs> she sure is Hungarian. This week's episode of Two Freckle Friends is brought to you by Aleve. I'm in pain. Lots of pain. I was finishing my hair. The hot iron ended up slipping and falling and I grabbed it because I have amazing reflexes. My hand hit the iron side when it was still blazing hot. So now I have this huge welt on my hand. Pain reliever, yay. Thank you. It really hurts. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. We appreciate you tuning into this latest episode of Two Freckle Friends. If you would like to pop the welt on Brooke's burnt hand, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckle Friends. This week, I'm going to need some type of life raft. The Richard and Regina Rich special. Well, that's it. It's all up to Richie now. With everything that's going on in my life, I'm going to need some form of rescue. Brooke, why don't you tell everyone out there what we are watching this week? Today, we are watching Disney's The Rescuers. I have no idea when this was made. I bet you it's gonna have better animation than the Black Cauldron. I remembered the sequel to this, The Rescuers Down Under, more than I remember the first one. They're perfectly harmless once you look them in the eye and let them know who's boss. But you can't have two without one. Didn't Einstein say that? Hell no, Einstein didn't say that. When two but if you're brand new to our channel, what we're going to do is Brooke and I will watch The Rescuers. We will give our own thoughts. And from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So without further ado, Disney's economic period. The 1977, the one, the only, The Rescuers. Let's roll it. Economic period, like a bunch of companies went through it during that time. It was when uh, Jimmy Carter was president. Certainly my reputation has been better in the post-presidential years than maybe in the White House. Three, two, one, A. What's her name? Jenny? Penny. Jenny. Good old pigtails. Yeah, look at alligators. The intro is so sad, especially with the stills. Who thought to do this? He's a madman! It looks like a storybook. Yeah, it's the canvas texture. It would be a New York City mouse to find that joint. What makes you think? You could be Baltimore. Something ain't right, yo. Hey! You know what? You thought wrong. Oh, it looks the same. Mm, look at the Roy G. Biv here at United Nations. How would you feel if you found a mouse in your bag dressed exactly like you? Nope. Good day, Mr. Ambassador. Order, order. This emergency meeting, Rescue Aid Society, is now in session. We have reason to believe someone is in distress. Look at her afro. Our society has never failed to answer a call for help. Uh -huh. Here, here. Of the beloved founder, Euripides Mouse. <laughs> These pencil lines. R E S C U E. Rescue Aid Society. You mean everything to me. Honesty, loyalty. Okay, that's why she's British. Oh, Hungary. She's not Hungarian. I'm live tweeting this dumbass conversation. Bring in the bottle. Sacre bleu. This is his bottles. Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu. What is this? I was waiting. <laughs> Uh, uh, coming through. Excuse me, sir. She sure is Hungarian. There's 
13 steps on this ladder. Superstitious nonsense. <laughs> oh. Disney loves a mouse, don't they? I'll, uh, I'll ha have it out in, in a jiffy, sir. <laughs> Morningside Orphanage, New York. I can't make it out. Terrible trouble. But it is all watered out. Uh, help, Penny. Oh, that poor little girl. Please, may I have this assignment? <laughs> it just you? spoke to you. It's not like the old days when it was a man's world. This is a man's world. I suppose there has to be a first time. <laughs> I don't think Miss Bianca should go. It could be dangerous. Sir, this isn't Girl, even your girls. job. You the janitor. How are you going to say what I can and can't do yeah. when I'm levels down. ahead of you? Co-agent, go with you. Who will volunteer? She has to take a man with I'm just realizing this. She has to take a man with Not one, two. I choose Mr. Bernard. We'll be a great team together. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Side orphanage. Here, here it is. Three blocks down and four blocks over. Why don't you take the shortcut through the zoo? Mm. Gee, could be risky. Oh, come on. All right. <laughs> it would be someone to come from Europe to New York and just be like, yeah, let's take a shortcut through the zoo. Through the Bronx Zoo? <laughs> You're late. Traffic. You, you stay here. I'll check it out. <laughs> Come to your senses. Yep. Wait for me! How about trying the three blocks down and four blocks over? Doing that little butt twaddle. So is this Morningside Heights? I'll take a look around, see what I can find. Oh, she got a box in the closet. Miss Bianca, over here, I, I found some. These are Penny's belongings. Now we're we getting somewhere. Disney love mice and cats. And animals with mustaches. One long howl, two short, one yip and a woof. Or maybe she's been adopted. Mice! Cat! Cat. If folks find out that mice moved in, I'll get kicked out. Don't worry, Mr. Cat. We won't be here long. Could you tell us what happened to a little girl named Penny? Poor little thing ran away. When was the last time you saw Penny? Try to remember. We were there on her bed all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at this? Because all this cat's missing is a rocking chair and chewing tobacco. In the old country, we grew up sleeping with the goats. You think we didn't stink a little? You tell old Rufus, huh? It was the adoption day at the orphanage. Ain't nobody take you, baby. The man and lady came, looked at me. They chewed the little red-headed girl. Not the redhead! She was prettier than me. <laughs> no, she was not! Now you, that's blasphemous. Now you don't say that. You're something extra special. No, I'm not. Pretty little girl or just like you? Honest. You're a little calf. You got to believe it. You see that bluebird? Yes, I do. Faith is a bluebird you see from afar. That sure is New York, isn't it? Look at the clothing lines. Can't touch it or buy it. Wrap it up tight, making things turn out right. That's right. Whoever adopts me, adopt Teddy too. Oh, they love him. He doesn't eat much, does he? <laughs> we need a I love you, Rufus. Next thing I heard, Penny was gone. Aren't the police still looking for her? They gave up weeks ago. Trash police. Poor little girl. I just can't believe that Penny would run away. There must be something else. I think it was there. It was. <laughs> Well, I know. Penny wouldn't get in with her. With who? Trashy people like them. Trashy people? She and her partner run a pawn shop down the street. We must go down there and investigate. The cat got more info than the cops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Two little mice. What can you do? What can you do? More than the cops. Oh, Grady. Mousy, you just struck out. Oh, she had a pawn shop. What part of the hood is this? But if I'm putting in extra work? Extra work? You don't work to start with. Not the NRA. Ah! On the old desks. A child's book. It's pennies. Then she's got to be here. <laughs> Let me help you fix it. Oh. There she goes. Ringing at the no brawn. Madame Medusa's pawn shop boutique. 
last No, Sir Diamond! You have been there for three months. Penny sending messages. Bottles? Little girl! Shut up! I'm taking the next flight down to Devil's Bayou. Man, she got some sloppy titties. We've got to go thither. Come on, in the suitcase. Leaving for a few weeks and So you're just about to get a ticket for a flight day of no planning. You're about to just spend that money. Talk about chicken legs. What is up with the Corella Deville car? Oh, okay. Calm down, sis. Medusa could be down at the Devil's Bayou by now. The lady does have to pack a few things. Flight 614, now departing. Oh no, we missed a flight. Are you worried too much? Ooh. Flights are always late. Albatross 13. What did I tell you? Flight 13? Maybe we'd better take the train. Dad ratted, somebody answer down there. Am I clear to land? Here's sticker. Give him the permission to land. You have our permission to land. Look, there he is. Why does this make me think of pilots who drink on the job? Hey, Russ, I heard you had a little trouble this morning. Dusted the wrong field. Look at him. Are you hurt, sir? Nope. One of my better landings, bud. See? Well, okay. We're gonna take the train. Ah! Play it safe. I'm as fit as a fiddle. And you look simply wonderful, Captain. Just call me Orville, little lady. It's most important we get to Devil's Bayou. Flight 13 hits the wild blue in five minutes. Day, day, day. <laughs> there are 13 steps on this ramp. Why don't you jump the last one? This is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard, folks. Is that a sardine can? Be sure it's fastened good and tight. It'll wrinkle my dress. Read the checklist to me. Goggles down. Check. Wing flaps down. Check. Tail feathers. Double check. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. You look like you need to stop smoking. Oh, the 70s-ish music. Come along, it's to be long. We'll brush the gloom away today. Very pretty songs. Another day. Devil's Bayou is interesting. She telling you to shut up and hold me, bruh. You can do- there we go. I've dated a guy who looked like Bernard, too. Oh, look, LeGras. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Reference that damn game. Uh, Every movie. <laughs> Penny, you didn't deserve any of this. How old do you think she is? Like five? Nah, the way she writing and got the clever? Seven. Penny! Penny, answer me! She would rather risk it with the wildlife in the swamp. Alligators. Why, what's going on? That little brat has escaped again. Mira Brutus. Bring her back, boys. Snoops! What's wrong? I don't, I don't know. It was... What is his hair doing? Send up flares! She's definitely giving Cruella. Mm -hmm. You fool! You imbecile! This is giving Scooby-Doo vibes, too. You are not wrong about economic downturn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she 
decent flare. It's not fireworks. Suffer and sassafras. Girl, he's a man. You know they never do shit like that. We really are in the world. Luke, wake up! Get down here! Not the moonshine jug. Shine, y'all. <laughs> you get down here right now! I'm a coming. <laughs> this new batch really packs a wall up. I recognize his voice from the Aristocats. It was a little old cricket bug. I'll decide what it was. It was a little old cricket bug. Look out below! <laughs> He could have caught them. Here, honey, let me help you. Say, cousin, you could use a swig of this. <laughs> Where are you folks from, anyway? We're from New York. New York. <laughs> I ain't gonna hang around this creepy place long. Clear the runway. Damn, you already leaving? You just flew. How many hours? <laughs> Great balls of fire. <laughs> You watch where you're going. <laughs> Got black lung too. It's that terrible Medusa. I'd like to give her a few whacks. I'd like to run her clean out of her body. Why did you have to go and spoil everything? Don't you dug up my teddy bear wet. Get that poor little young one. She's trying to run away again. It's funny. We've got to find out where they're taking her. You need a boat. Even Ruth got the fastest boat around here. Even Ruth, wake up. Start up the engine, boy. Send Even Ruth back as soon as you need help. I'll round up the neighbors. I'm processing the economic downturn. This is the first time it's hitting me. There are definitely budget cuts, you know what I'm saying? They gotta be around here somewhere. He's been drinking that shine too. He lost them. Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. When was the last time you heard somebody use that in a movie? Don't get water in the leaf. Help! Bianca. Let me see if I have some more cheeses. Where her clothes at? Bring it right on in, boys. Tried to run away. Ah, well, it didn't work, did it? Put me down, bro. That's freaky little dragon. Freaky little work, dragon. I won't let them do that to you again. Poor Teddy. Boys, take this naughty little girl to her room. I can go by myself. Thank you. Y'all got fireworks where y'all can spell out letters? Stick around, even Rude. We'll signal if we need you. Where is she? Why did you let her escape? My precious pets. Uh. That ungrateful little brat. Snoops! You're not thinking. She's the only one small enough to squeeze down the black hole. Oh. Find my big diamond. What she brought up from the cave. Oh, they'll sell for a lot of... Ow! She's insane. Huh? Utterly mad. I want that diamond. You are too soft. The tide was coming in. You don't have a way with children. You have such a way with children. She got her nails done. Make them like you. How do you do that? You force them to like you, idiot. The next low tide, keep her there until she finds it. We gotta get Penny out of here tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they smell your perfume. Or they smell you because you're mice. Who keeps an organ in the house? Looks like one of those casino fairy ships. Strutting her stuff on the street. There's an organ in the house? <laughs> Why are you not watching the small show? The padded zebra. Oh my gosh, Emily's in the pool! The pool? <laughs> <laughs> It's like the first Mario. He's jamming them. Stop that racket now. 
Snoop some mouth! Oh, kill it! Oh, no. Even root over here! She tried to kill us. It was only a ten-foot mouse. I'd show her. Maybe Rufus the cat was right. What can two little mice do? Rescue aid society. The society is counting on us. We've just got to rescue her. Penny, dear. High tide or not going to find me that I am and come. Yeah. What would make Auntie Medusa very happy? I used to freak me out. You're going back to me. You're right, dear. We must try harder. Take me back to the orphanage, promise. Penny, don't you like it here? I'll never get adopted. What makes you think anyone would want you? Be brave, little one. Someone's waiting for you. This song apparently was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song in 1977. Please let someone buy my bottle because running away isn't working. Aww. Amen. Penny, do not don't cry. We are here to help you. Hi, where'd you come from? <laughs> we found the bottle with your message and we've come to rescue you. I bought a work. Didn't you bring somebody big with you? The two of us. If the three of us work together and we have a little faith... That's what Rufus said. We have to escape tonight. Brutus and Nero? Look what they did to my pants. Aww. Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. ko-fi.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash two freckle friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. They were to be locked up in a cage. Yeah, the elevator. Perfect cage, Penny. What can we use for bait? Oh, they'll eat anything. Yeah, I know. My perfume remember my mom had an old perfume bottle like that. children pick up on everything they like medusa we'll be so far ahead they'll never catch us she might catch us in her swamp mobile we'll swipe it i've always wanted to drive it <laughs> we've got to stall them somehow mr snoop's fireworks that will keep her busy she's been thinking about her escape plan for a while so she's coming up with stuff way too easily pow march your yuppie ass out of my kitchen but we're gonna need help Snoop's why, what's going on? I bet those two are up to something. Go down that awful black hole. Come on, we haven't got much time. Evan Rude, go get Ellie Mae. Ready to help rescue that little young... She having a town hall meeting you, in the house. On your feet, you lazy critter! <laughs> he drunk. Holler charge! His nose gets plumb out of joint. Stay here till Evan Rude brings us word. I gotta go down in that hole. Find me the diamond, you understand? Miss Penny, shiny diamond for your Auntie Medusa. Daddy doesn't like it down there. I'll just keep him up here. The poor child's gonna have trauma for life. Find the big diamond or never see that teddy again. I'll go. The level of abuse, my God. Oh, it used to be a pirate's cave. How do you know that, Benny? Oh, dear! <laughs> oh, wow! Medusa doesn't like those little ones. There are diamonds, they're just not big enough. What's, what's, uh, what's that? That's where the water comes in. If I was a pirate, that's just where I'd hide the devil's eye. I'll go over and check it out. If I, I was a pirate, I, would, I wouldn't hide <laughs> anything back there. Bernard, look! Let's see what it is. Bianca! Hang on! I'm coming! What are you? 
you doing down there? I'm looking! Wow! Hold your lantern up again. Holy mackerel, that, that's it! The devil's eye! We found it! Medusa! Found it! Good girl, good girl, let's get it up here! How the heck are you gonna move that? Through. It's kind of dark, actually, for a children's movie. It's that tight! Get that diamond back! Back, Penny! Oh. You fall! Ah. Forget the, the diamond, let's get out of here before we drown! The water's coming in! Pull me up! Get the diamond! The pirate sword, You use the sword! <laughs> There's enough there to cut it into two equal shares. Cut up a perfect gem missile. <laughs> Double crossing crook. Double crosser. Come on now, you got work to do. Yeah, you waited a whole day. <laughs> we mustn't be quitting now, must we? This will make a new. How do you still have some left? Why are they playing the hillbillies music? Yeah! What in the Beverly Hillbillies is this? <laughs> and here comes the Beverly Hillbillies! Well, sure, Swindler! Don't move! Oh, I don't remember all that. Teddy goes with me. <laughs> yes! Poor Mr. Mole. is for money. Oh, L E. You you are not getting any gas. All of it. Now I want to play Wave Race 64. We did it, Bianca! Hooray! Oh, we, we did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Why are they trying to bite out of now? The world's largest diamond, the Devil's Eye, is now in the Smithsonian Institute. This little orphan's dream has come true. She's being adopted with her new mother and father. Does she get a reward to pay for her college for finding the diamond? The child mentioned a check. Penny's a jolly good fan. Fair enough. So happy for Penny. Did Penny get a cut of the diamond? No, she got parents instead. Two little mice rescue eight sides as he helped me. Hello, Bianca. Hi, Bernard. Well, uh, I didn't. <laughs> sure wish we'd have taken the train. <laughs> Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give the rescuers its official freckle score. That wasn't abrupt at all. Shit. Disney's economic downturn. I'll have to take a look at the list of films that were produced, created during that time, and maybe delay 
<laughs> watching them to a certain degree. Orphan stories, you know, you want Penny to find a good home, good parents. And even though Annie wasn't out yet, it had a lot of Annie to her. She was hard not to love, clever, witty. Who wouldn't want to have Penny as a child? I did not appreciate how she just randomly ended up in the bayous of the swamp. She was kidnapped. <laughs> okay, she was child nap. I would have loved to have seen where are the owners or the proprietors of the orphanage? Why do two mice have more intel from an old ass raggedy cat than the authorities? There are more plot holes than lily pads in that swamp. Medusa, while I appreciate her as a villain, she was kind of like a bootleg Cruella and it wasn't good enough. As an individual movie, I would not seek this out to watch it again for my own entertainment. Though the music was lovely. My freckle score for the rescuers is going to be three out of five freckles. I have a kind of a personal childhood relationship with this movie. I haven't watched it in years. There were elements of it that I completely, completely forgot. Rainstorm, do you really have to go and bathe yourself while I'm giving my review? Do you have to do it in the camera? I agree with everything that Allie said about Medusa kind of channeling Cruella. My issue with the film comes in because it could have been more complex than it was. Well, how did Snoops get her all the way down to New Orleans? Like, how did they manage to get her on a plane and traffic her all the way down there? There was no concept of time, really. How long were the mice there? It seemed like they were there for a day, but then it looked like the next day is when they went to the pirate's cave. How did she get back to New York? Like, that makes no sense to me. In my mind, I would think this orphanage in New York can't take care of her. Why would we send her back there? I love the music. I love the mood, the tone. I'm choosing to rate it as 2.25 freckles. Drop in the comments below your thoughts on the rescuers. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. I was dead ass when I said I wanted to play Wave Race 64. <laughs> I know you were. She was I know you were. and scooting.